What is good, YouTube? It's your boy, Trill Flame, and I'm back at it to give another video. If you guys do the channel, make sure you guys slap that like subscribe button. And today, y'all, y'all see by the title, man, we're gonna be talking about should 2K get rid of the collection, the collection rewards. Now, of course, y'all know, man, now I ain't gonna cap. The best collection award to me was 2019. That was the best collection award to me. 20, it was alright. 21. Alright, so of course y'all know, man. All the like, when I'm talking about the collection awards, what are you at? What are you at? What are you at? What are you at? Boom. You go to team, my team, Fnatic. Alright. Y'all see, I got 1,400 cards collected. I still, I'm not even going for Dame. Bruh, we got a Dame two weeks ago. Guess what would happen? We got this Dame. And then by two weeks later, Dame ended up getting the Moments card. This this invincible Jason Tatum. Guess what? Jason Tatum invincible card is basically his dark matter card. I think that's just, I think that's some they should get rid of. The, it's it's like bro, the cards are not gonna the card like last year twenty. We ended up getting the we ended up getting the spot. We ended up getting the prime D Wade. And D Wade was a guy. D Wade was already a collection war. His guy like Silver. He was good, like his collection wall was good, but his prime car was better. So like Pete, you really set up and spent all this money on his car, and we literally got a D Wade for cheap. Like another example. Jalen Rules. That Jalen Rules last year in 20 was trash. That pink diamond Jalen Rules was the guy. He ended up going to Galaxy, but that car was trash. What other card we ended up getting? We ended up getting Sabonis. I think Sabonis ended up getting another Galaxy Silver. So it was like, I feel like they should need to get rid of it or they need to tone the like, cars down, bro. There's a dude who literally got this card. Like, bro, you know how much bread you have to spend on this game, bro? The most money I probably spent on this game all year. Because y'all know I spent 20 bucks. Uh, y'all know I spent like 20 bucks on this game. On packs. The most I probably spent on this game is probably five to six hundred dollars total. I'm not spending. I'm not spending that much bread on this card. And you got to think about it, Chad. This game came out of September. I spent twenty bucks like every Friday. So of course this is gonna add up, bro. This card, bro. This Jason Tatum is not very good. Was not very good. Like congratulations to whoever got him. Like I think I don't know the dude name. Congratulations to him for locking in for this card, but bro, this is a card payment. Like bro, this is a like bro. You could get a like a Toyota. Five months you locked in for this card, but you could get a down payment on this car, on a house or a trailer in Louisiana. I think they should get rid of it. Me, me personally, I would get rid of it, bro, because. People coming to the point to where people noticing, bro, like, bro, is the the reward ain't gonna be worth it. Like, Dame wasn't worth it at all. Even when people pick Dame up, people had Dame in their lineup for like two weeks, and after that it was over. Cause he ended up getting a moments card. So it's point, it's pointless, bro. Or make the rewards actually use, like, make them actually worth it. Like Giannis, lad, bro. Giannis with the best. Like, bro, Giannis was so OP. I mean, I guess because that's 2K19. Giannis was OP in 2K19. But y'all get what I'm understand. We, they gotta figure something out. Because, bro, you telling me that somebody really locked in for this card? Bro, you know how crazy of a person you gotta be to lock in? This Jason Tatum? Hell no. I'm not locking, bro. I didn't even lock, bro. Look where I'm at. When in July, bro, I got 1,400 cards total. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about the collection. Like, should 2K keep the collection, like, collection reward? Like, of course, we're going to lock them in, but, like, should y'all think they should tone down on the certain cards? Like, when it comes to the rewards? Or should they give us better rewards? Because this, I ain't going to lie, Jason Tatum and Dame, they won the best rewards to me. Last shit, it was great rewards. 19 was the best rewards. Like, bro, we ended up getting JR. We ended up getting JR. I think 
Giannis. We, we ended up getting more cards. I just forgot. But y'all let me know in the comment section how you guys feel. Y'all, I love y'all. Peace.